Hello folks, uh, so in this video we are going to look at the general errors and critical errors in a parking lot. So let's look at the general errors when you are entering in a parking lot. Now the general errors when you are just pulling in a parking lot very simple. The first general error is missing signal. So if you don't put any signal on that's going to be a general mistake. The second general error is your signal is wrong. So maybe you are turning left into the parking lot but instead of signaling left you have your right signal on or maybe you are turning right in a parking lot and instead of putting the right signal on you have your left signal on. So wrong signal that's a general error. Now the third general error is your signal is too late or it's too soon. Alright folks, uh, so now we're going to look at the critical errors when you're entering in a parking lot. Now there are about 6 most common critical errors when you're pulling in a parking lot and lot of people fail their driving test on these critical errors so you really need to pay attention. Uh, stay focused and make sure um, this is a very important video. So <coughs> make sure uh, you watch the full video. So the first critical error is um, fail to yield to pedestrian so in this example here we are going to um, turn into this parking lot here on the right side so as you can see we have uh, three pedestrians now this kid is already uh, he almost crossed already so he's on the other side but then we have two other pedestrians coming so right now we're just gonna wait and let them go first if I don't stop for the pedestrians here that's gonna be a critical error in the driving test the second critical error is going in a wrong lane. Now there was no sign indicating that it's a one way or a two way um, street, right? So this uh, the street here. So that means if you don't see a sign for a one way, that means it's a two way. And I will show you some other examples as well. So in this case, if it's a two way, that means I want to stay on the right hand side because the right side is the entrance and the left side is the exit. Now this one is a little bit obvious because I'm turning right, but a lot of time in the driving test what happens when people actually turn left, they don't pay attention and they go on the left side. You, you can do that if you are turning on a one-way street, okay? If you see a sign indicating it's a one-way and you are turning left, then you can come into the left lane. But if it's a two-way street like this and if you are turning left, then you have to stay on the right-hand side. It's just like a two-way street, so you will imagine a yellow line in the middle of the street and then stay on the right side of the yellow line. The next in uh, automatic fail is a fail to yield to other traffic. So in this example as you can see this white truck is already in the middle of the intersection. So that means he gets the right of way I need to wait for him. Now on this side here this um, black truck he's moving he's coming out of a parking lot. Uh, so that means he has to wait for me because I am on a main road I get the right of way. Now if I wait for this black truck here then I will get an automatic fail because that will be unnecessary stop okay. So when you're pulling in you're checking yes we are checking pedestrians um, this time we are turning left so we are checking oncoming traffic as well and uh, now this traffic has a stop sign uh, so that means uh, we don't really care about them. And your speed also matter. Uh, if you're going too slow or if you're going too fast um, that's gonna be automatic fail as well like if you're going too slow uh, that means you're gonna interfere with the traffic and if you're going too fast um, it depends um, on the road condition and the weather if you're to, if you're going too fast for the road condition and for the weather condition um, you might not have full control over the car so it depends on the situation uh, that might cause you automatic fail as well. So these are all the automatic fails when you're entering um, in a parking lot. So now let's look at the crit critical errors when you're already in a parking lot. So the first critical error is driving on the wrong side. 
So remember, parking lots, um, they are just like a two-way street unless you see a sign indicating it's a one-way street. So let me show you an example of the one-way street as well, okay? So the example that you see right now, this one is a two-way because there was no sign indicating it's a one-direction, one-way uh, traffic. So let me show you another example uh, so you can see the difference. Okay guys, so this picture here indicates uh, one direction traffic. So as you can see, the arrows are pointing this way. So that means they want all the traffic to go in that direction. So when you see something like this, that's when um, you can stay on the right hand side or you can stay on the left hand side. But in the other example, most of the parking lots, they will be more like a two way street. So if you're driving in a wrong lane, that's going to be an automatic wave. So in this example here, instead of driving on the right side, if you're driving on the left side, um, that means you are in a wrong lane and that's going to be an automatic fail. The next automatic fail is driving too close to the parked cars. So here on the right hand side, we got like a lot of parked cars. If I'm driving too close to them, that's going to be an automatic fail. The next automatic fail is uh, going over the speed limit. Now in this parking lot, uh, the speed limit is 20 kilometers and uh, pretty much all the parking lots uh, when you enter you will see a speed limit sign and uh, if you don't see a speed limit sign you can stay around uh, approximately 15 to 20 kilometers but if you do see a sign then you still have to follow that sign if you're driving over the speed limit uh, it will be an automatic fail the next automatic fail is fail to yield to pedestrians so in this example here i have uh, this pedestrian who want to cross if I don't stop for the pedestrian that's gonna be an automatic fail so now let's look at the critical errors um, when you exit a parking lot the first critical error is uh, going in a wrong lane so now let's look at uh, one-way street example first so right now the picture that we are looking at um, there is a white arrow indicating that it's a one direction uh, traffic so you can only exit from the side you cannot enter in a parking lot from the side now what's that mean to you before you exit a parking lot if you are turning left that means you should be staying closer to the curb on the left side because it's exit only and if you're turning right that means you should be staying closer to the right curb um, because it's exit only so a lot of time um, what happens in a driving test when people go and uh, take their driving test on a location where um, the exit you know the parking lot um, sign shows it's exit only and if they are turning left um, students they still stop on the right hand side um, instead of stopping on the left hand side and then they get a critical a critical error over there so just remember if you're um if it's exit only if you're going left you want to stay on the left hand side if you're turning right then you stay on the right hand side So now I'm just going to show you a different example because it's very important so and I just want to make sure you understand this uh, properly so if you're on a two-way street so in this parking lot now we don't have any sign indicating it's a one direction uh, traffic so that means we are on a two-way so on a two-way if it doesn't matter if you're turning left or right then you always stay on the right hand side because it's a two-way so over here like let's say instead of stopping on the right hand side if I stop on the left if I stay on the left hand side here that's going to be an automatic fail. The next automatic fail we have on the list is um, not stopping before uh, the sidewalk or before we enter on the roadways. Now guys lot of parking lots they don't have a stop sign so here like we don't have any stop sign here but 
It's under the law before you exit a parking lot, driveway or a back lane. You have to make a full stop before the sidewalk. If there's no sidewalk, then you stop um, before the edge of the curb. If you don't do that in your driving test, that's going to be an automatic fail. So in this example, I'm going to make a full stop here before the sidewalk. Then I check on the sidewalk first to make sure there's no pedestrian. Now in this example, I know there is one pedestrian, so I'm just waiting for the pedestrian. So let's say if I don't wait for that pedestrian, that's going to be an automatic fail as well. The next automatic fail is how fast, uh, the next automatic fail is uh, your double stop. So I already made a full stop before the sidewalk and now I'm rolling forward. If that, if it's clear, then I don't stop again. Okay, now let me just uh, show you that again. Okay, so we, we are moving now, I'm checking traffic, it's clear. That means I should not stop here, I should just go. Sometimes people, um, they make double stops. So they stop before the sidewalk first, they roll forward. Traffic, like there's no traffic, but they still make a stop um, before they enter on the road. Now that double stop, the second stop doesn't make any sense. So that's gonna count under unnecessary stop. Um, and that will be a critical error in the driving test. And the next one we have on the list is your speed. So when you exit, how fast or how, like what is your speed? Are you going too fast or are you going too slow? Because if you're going too fast, you might um, end up in the second lane here, okay? Because you might lose uh, control over the car. If you end up in the second lane, that's gonna be a critical error or you might uh, your turn might be too wide now if you're going too slow if you're turning too slow you might interfere with the traffic that's behind you and that's going to be a critical error as well so these are all the critical errors uh, when you are entering in a parking lot when you drive in a parking lot when you exit a parking lot these are the most common automatic fails what i have seen um, from my experience watch the video again there's a lot of information um, may, you know take notes um, do your best and uh, when you next time when you go out and drive in a parking lot try to follow all the rules and when you follow all the rules uh, you are engaged with the process uh, when you're engaged with the process you're not gonna make any mistake okay and uh, when you don't make any mistake you you will pass your driving test thank you very much and i will see you guys again